Well, this is my first time in the new venue, and I have to admit, it's, it's rather nice, very big. And you guys were not kidding about the blind factor. So. <laughs> so I have done a couple of poems here that have been, for various reasons, chosen. But this one tonight, I decided to do this because this has been my personal favorite. Um, not so much because of the content, but because in spite of where we are in our lives, when we're going through the muck, when we're dealing with our demons and sometimes the people providing those demons, you seem to be a victim for the longest time. And then you get to that point where you own it. And this was the moment of owning who I thought I was at the time. Um, I guess you could say in the way that this book of poems came together, this was the culmination of who I was for quite a while. Wasn't the best place to be, but it was apparently the place I needed to be. And from there, things changed and got better. But there was a bit of a dark point, and that's what this is about. So this one is called Truth. Silence, all surrounding, darkness, all encompassing, anger and resentment reign supreme. In the depths of a heart that is a blackened ember, forever hardened with inability to forgive, sounds the tintinabulation of the joys and revelations from the spring of contemplation in a place of subjugation in silent salutation is the one thing free of contagion, the soul burning with the fire of spite and hateful ire, only wanting one desire to be taken from the pyre, to be freed from the mire, for in its struggle it does tire to be pure. For but a moment, then the fantasy is no more. Though the blackness be oppressive, offering no surcease from pain, each intermittent flash of light does quickly fade, but the darkness is enduring forever bold in its fury, never feels a need to hurry, and its beloved are incurring in themselves a finer turning to the joys and freedoms during the pleasurable inducement of pain. For when walking on the dark side, there is always a place to hide. And in the night, you meet your kind of creature in whom you find a similarity of mind, and this great evil it does bind, as does a contract that is signed to a love that is blind, a singular release of hate. No, in the hate, there is a comfort. In the anger, there is peace. In the spite is a security to which to cling. So be a dweller of your sorrows. Look for your every dark tomorrow. It holds a light you may borrow for a moment, long enough to see that every spark of light needs the dark to be bright. And together we unite to create a backdrop of night for those beacons to ignite the flickering, wavering light of their singular dying flames.